Our journey so far has taken us from Miami to Cancun, past Chichen Itza and Valladolid to Merida, all the way down to Bacala, the lagoon of Bacala, and now we're at Tulum on the east coast of the Yucatan Peninsula. So we've just got here to Tulum, just got here from Bacala. So I just missed the rain, it's been absolutely hammered it down. Uh, it seems to be eased off a little bit. Do I just? Yeah. Just hired some bikes and we're going to cycle out to the ruins um, and then we're going to cycle down onto the beach and yeah, just to have a good explore around to learn on our bikes. So we've just made it to Tulum Ruins uh, and we're just, it's really windy here. It took us 20 minutes to get to the ruins and then when we arrived there we had to pay 58 pesos as like a tax to get a bracelet before you could enter the park and then it cost 90 pesos to actually enter the ruins. I think Joanna sticking his head out the hole there. Uh, we're just walking down, we just saw the sea. Um, I'm going to show you that in a sec. Uh, we I'll show you some of the pictures. We saw lots of lizards on one of the ancient like temples. If they're really important, yeah, you have um you have to have walls around the outside in case anyone like gets in or something like that. We've just left Tulum ruins <clears throat> and we're just heading down towards the front. Hopefully, going to go see the sculpture park. And we're just on this long road, which is pretty good actually for cycling it looks like quite a new road um, we had to cycle up the main road to get here and then uh, this is like actually in this sort of park area national park I think it is uh, so it's quite a nice new road but hopefully fingers crossed this will lead us to where we need to get to We love Tulum, it was hippie chic. Loads of yoga places, looks really cool and funky, but comes with a massive price tag. Um, somewhere I would say is probably more of an adult's playground um, and I would love to go back again. So we left the ruins and then we tried to get to the sculpture park and we've been cycling for over an hour and it's been really, really busy. We've been on the road with the kids between us um, and everyone's being really courteous, but it's kind of a little bit hairy. And we keep thinking, oh, should we turn back around? Should we turn back around? But we've kept Wait, going and we've just got here and it's shut. <laughs> I said to Theo, literally, we have to laugh. Otherwise, we're all going to cry. So we just stopped for a peanut bar each just for some rest. A monkey dropped out the trees. We all shat ourselves, got back on our bike. And we've just been pedaling as fast as we could because the monkey dropped up the trees and started coming towards us. So uh, yeah, just another thing for today. If you're looking to rent bikes in Tulum, this place behind me, Ola Bikes, uh, had kids bikes as well. We struggled a little bit with uh, kids bikes. We dealt with a guy called Aiden down there and he was like top man. Uh, spoke English um, so yeah definitely recommend that if you're looking to hire bikes into them I'm just about to try tropical tostadas and just been to the best ta uh, fish taco restaurant which is called I am Osmar they are here it's um, Sabor de Mar restaurant is the best food in Tulum is food in northern Mexico in Sinaloa state Awesome. Make sure you come if you uh, come to Tulum. This was one of the best places we found for fish tacos in Tulum. It was a real unsuspecting little restaurant just opposite the Aido bus station, um, just down a little road, and it was called Saba de Mar. We hope you liked our Tulum video. We love making it. Please like and subscribe to our channel, and we'll be sure to show you some more videos soon.